How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, wow. That wasn't even on purpose. Look at my brain. Oh my God, my mind. It's impact. I'm pretty amazing. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This could be your very first time here. Um, I'm Anastasia the Black Bookworm and today is today's like an accountability video. Um, I have a lot of books that I bought because um, all the cool kids were doing it. And <laughs> Now that I have them in my possession, I just stare at them and buy more books. And the books that I buy after I bought these books, I read, no problem, love them. I keep buying, I keep reading, and it's like, cool, cool, cool. I'm devouring all these books, except for those initial books that I bought when I was first getting back into reading. And so this, like I said, this is an accountability video, basically to like put myself on front street and show y'all like, I bought these books. I'm pointing down because the books are on the floor right now. I bought these books and um, I have little to no desire to actually read them. And I posted a TikTok asking like what people do when they buy books and they just like don't care for them. And one of my best friends was like, I give mine away. Like I re-gift them, they need a new home. And I was like, oh man, she's such a good person. Maybe I'll do that later. But right now I'm still like, mm can't get rid of them yet I just oh, I can't not yet um I have I have an issue with hoarding I'm working on it I've gotten a lot better but um like I got rid of a lot of my books last year I donated so many um but still I, I could be better there's room for improvement I will say that um if you haven't already please subscribe turn on those post notifications and let's get into this Thank you. Did I thank you for being here? Thank you so much for being here. Um, you don't have to be here at all. So the fact that you are here means the world to me. So thank you so much. Let's get into these books that I bought and have no desire to read. I'm gonna say little to no desire. Like I desired it enough to actually buy the books at the time. So I'll say that. The Guest List by Lucy Fole. Um, oops, Lucy Foley. Um, I see this little Sunshine Book Club sticker and I'm, I'm like a little bit hooked. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's a thriller. Couldn't tell you what it's about. Um, well, I guess technically I could if I like. Is there even a an exclusive wedding on a remote Irish island? The bride, the plus one, the best man, the wedding planner, the bridesmaid, all have a secret, all have a motive, but only one is a murderer. It could be really good. This could be like the best book in the world and I would not know. Conversations with Friends by Sally Rooney. Now I watched Normal People on Hulu and I loved it. And I have said it before, but I thoroughly enjoy Jack Edwards channel and like his, the way he loves books is just so, oh my gosh, it's just so great to watch. Um, and he loves Sally Rooney. And so I was like, okay, well, you know, Jack Edwards loves it, then I'll buy it and I'll read it. Dune. Let me tell y'all, I'm gonna support anything Zendaya does, anything. But now that I'm reading, I wanna be like the person that reads the book before she watches the movie. Um, I don't know why, because I feel like that could be setting myself up for more disappointment. However, I just don't, I have no desire to get into this book. Absolutely none, not even a little bit. Um, Stephen Colbert did interviews during the press promo and he talked about this book in a way that was so like just 
profound how it impacted his childhood and his whole entire life and how he just loved that book so much and i was like stephen colbert is smart i want to read it too the seven husbands of evelyn hugo by taylor jenkins reed this one might be a little bit controversial because i know the girls love her um I don't know why I bought this. I, well, I do know why, because everybody loved her. And I was like, okay, maybe I'll love her too. I have no desire to read this book. I keep thinking it'll change. I keep like, I'll pack it with me if I go on a vacation and I will not touch it. I will pack it with me if I'm going to my in-laws and I will not touch it. So maybe one of these days I will. Can't make promises. This one I feel bad. Dial A for aunties and so many people love this book. I've seen so many people talk about this book and say so many great things. I think out of all the books that I've like shown y'all so far this is one that I'm actually like I will read it. I just don't know when but like I, I, I want to want to read it. I just don't want to read it right now but I want the desire to read this book. Like, I, I want that feeling. <laughs> I just don't have it right now. But you know, maybe it'll come later. The Spanish Love Deception. Um, I have talked about this book before. I've talked about how a lot of people have trashed this book and how a lot of people love this book and there's like no in between. Um, and now that I've read so much romance, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna fall on the side of like not liking it. But I wonder if like I read like a book that's not romance and I'm just like, oh my God, I miss my predictable smut. Like maybe I'll pick this up. Maybe that's what I should do. Maybe I should trick myself into liking this or wanting to read it. Cause right now I just, I want to want to read this one too, just because I wanna know what side I fall on. Like I wanna be sure of what side I fall on. Um, and didn't she have a second one like the American Roommate Experiment? Did that come out already? Or did that come out in August? I don't know. Hmm. Okay, this one, these next two are like, okay, a lot of my favorite booktubers are sponsored by Book of the Month and they talked about this book so much whenever that month came out that they were promoting this book and I was like, that sounds like a great story. It's still sounds like a great story um what is it there's like four kids right um let's see if your mother was missing would you tell the police even if the most obvious suspect was your father yeah so like two of them are like let's go to the police and the other two are like let's not it sounds good it sounds really good it sounds riveting i've had it for months i've had it since like january it's july maybe i'll read it during the fall never fall maybe i'll read it during the fall um good company i don't even know if i saw people promoting this one with book of the month i might have just bought it because of the book of the month sticker because i am a sucker for endorsements i don't know um what is this one about i just saw book of the month and i was like i'll chance it um flora has been married happily married for more than 20 years but everything she thought she knew about herself her marriage and her relationship with her best friend Margot, is upended when she stumbles upon an envelope containing her husband's wedding ring the one he claimed he lost one summer when their daughter ruby was five huh i see why i bought that that actually sounds good The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. The concept is cool, like a girl that lives forever but nobody ever remembers her. I started the first page and I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I was like, what? Is it gonna look like this the whole time? Which no, it doesn't. But this was just enough to, for me to be like, not right now, maybe later. Okay, this one I didn't buy. Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. Um, my sister 
had it on her bookshelf in my parents' room. And um, even though she moved out, it was still there. So I was like, okay, well, you ain't checking for this book. So I'm gonna I'm a get it because I've heard so much about it. And I haven't read it. I literally just took the book from its home and rehoused it. I don't know. Maybe I'll read it. What's it about? Let's see. Galaxy Alex Stern is the most unlikely member of Yale's freshman class. Raised in the LA hinterlands by a hippie mom, Alex dropped out of school early and into a world of shady drug dealer boyfriends, dead end jobs, and much, much worse. In fact, by age 20, she's the sole survivor of a horrific, unsolved, multiple homicide. Ooh. Some might say she's thrown her life away. But at her hospital bed, Alex is offered a second chance ooh, to attend one of the world's most prestigious universities on a full ride. What's the catch and why her? Huh. Okay. Look, okay. I see why you guys wanted to read it. It sounds interesting. Hmm. But yeah, I told y'all about these books because I want to hold myself accountable. I want to read these books for real, for real. So... Now y'all know about my um, habit of buying books that are really popular and not reading them. Um, we're gonna try though. Maybe by like the end of the year, I will have read like half of these. I don't wanna set myself up and be like, maybe I'll finish all of them before 2022 is over because maybe I won't. Um, let's set a realistic goal and let's see if we meet it. But yeah, that was that. Do you guys have any books that you bought and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to read it. And then you get it home and it just sits on the shelf and you have no desire to read it. If you feel me, let me know what book it is because I want to know that I'm not alone in this. Um, hmm. I've been on a book buying ban for like two months now, pretty much all summer. Um, and maybe I can like, ooh, that's such torture though. If I'm like, once I finish all these books and I can buy new books, I don't see me following that. I'm not even gonna set myself up like that, but you know, I don't know, we'll see. Anywho, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on those post notifications. Um, and, yeah, just keep coming back. Thank you so much for watching. Um, am I going to get a thumbnail first and get out of here? Or am I going to get out of here and then get a thumbnail? I'll get a thumbnail. These are all paperback, right? Yeah. And it's like none of these covers are ugly, but none of them like really make me want to read the book. Usually that has something to do with it, but right now, not really. Mm. Can I just... Mm. Can you even see all the books? I don't know if you can see these all. There's so many. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, wow. That wasn't even on purpose. Look at my brain. Oh, my God. My mind. It's impact. I'm pretty amazing. Anywho, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.